When the rally ends tomorrow, nearly everyone will pack their things and head home. But for a small few, it's on to the next stop in a seemingly never-ending journey. Call them vagabonds, call them gypsies, call them whatever you want, but an often overlooked part of rally culture is those who call the road home. While most bikers at the rally will soon return to the friendly confines of home, 49-year-old Scotty Kirkus doesn't have a set place to hang his hat. Where do I live? Wherever my bike and my equipment is, man. On the surface, Kirkus's story sounds unfortunate, but it's a lifestyle he leads by choice. He used to be a contractor. I had a three-bedroom house, two cars, truck. I had a lot of stuff, and, and that didn't work for me. In search of something that did work, he sold his cars, his house, and nearly everything in it, packed his remaining belongings onto his Harley, and kissed his Southern California life goodbye at the age of 35. You know, I just never real content. And when I got out on the road and I started taking them long trips, I knew this is where I was supposed to be. It's been 15 years since Kirk has started calling the road home. That time, his travels have taken him north and south of the border and to nearly every state in the nation. If we look at a map of the U.S. and it, it shows the cities, major cities, most of them I can pull up a memory from it. This week, Kirkus shares those memories with odd bikers, earning gas and spending money doing repairs in Sturgis. While the vagabond lifestyle can grow tiring, a simple life is something he rarely looks back on. You don't know that kind of freedom, do you, man? I don't think most people would really want to do it. For many, it's a better left as a dream, but for those that do want to do it, there's no other way. There's no other way. You'd be happy doing nothing else. After the rally, Kirkus says he'll spend a few days riding in the Black Hills before heading to Jackson Hole and ultimately the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. I know Vic couldn't do it. He's too married to his TV. But do you think you guys could leave home for 15 years? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? That would, that would be kind of cool. I don't, know how well it, I don't know how well Sawyer would sit in a slide car, though. We'll see. Never know. I miss the shower. <laughs> For coverage, you can count on 24-7. Visit our website at CodaTV.com. Our first team salute comes from kids watching today's powwow at the Journey Museum. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Thanks for watching Coda Territory News. Coverage you can count on yesterday, today, and tomorrow.